Okay, that's do some for fun. Here, I have two questions for you guys. First, is it possible to have a real number? Raised to a real number for the power. And then in the end, the result is non-real. And the reason I put down non-real right here instead of complex is because any real number, it's technically also a complex number. Because for example, let's look at the number five. Five, it's the same as saying five plus zero i. So technically, that's also a complex number. So in this case, I just want to make sure this is strictly non-real. And the second question is that, is it possible to have a real number raised to a real number power and then so on, so on, so on. And this is the infinite power tower situation. And then in the end, we end up with a non-real number right here. And you have to know this and that, they don't have to be the same, right? So that's the little rule. Anyway, please pause the video and try this too first. Okay, so. For this one, if you are taking more than two seconds to do it, then you are thinking too hard because this right here is totally doable. And to do so, I can just say, let's take negative one for the base, and then I will raise that to the one half power. And this right here is what? Yes, this right here, give you i. And let's just talk about the principle value in this video. So this is the square root of negative one, and let's just talk about the principle value. So I just want to have one answer for you guys, okay? so. This right here is totally doable. Now, for this one, hmm, a real number to a real number and so on, so on, so on forever. I want to end up with a non-real result. For this right here, I'm just gonna solve the equation. And I will just make an assumption that all these real numbers are the same, just for simplicity purpose. So I will try to solve x to the x to the x and so on, so on, so on forever. And I will make this equal to a non-real number, of course, let's also try to make this equal to i. Well, well, as you can see, this is x to the x to the x infinitely many times. I can write it down in red as well. And this right here will also be i. So if you want to find x to make this work, of course, we just have to solve the equation. x to the i's power, that's equal to this i right here. How wonderful is this, huh? And then I will just go ahead and raise both sides to the 1 over i's power so that this and that will pretty much cancel. I can get the x by itself on the left hand side. And this right here is equal to i to the 1 over i power. However, I want to be on the top. So let's go ahead and multiply i and i. And you see that this is going to be i for the base and then this is negative 1 and Altogether, the power is negative i, like this. And if you would like, you can look at the i as, let's put this down. This is e to the pi over 2i. And this right here is a polar form of the i. And as I said, I will just work out the principle for you because I will just want to give you guys one answer for this. Anyway, right here, I still have negative i for the power. And then, of course, we're just going to multiply the powers. So you see, this is equal to e raised to the pi over 2. And then we have the negative. And then i times i, of course, is i squared. But let me just put on i and i like this. This right here gives you negative 1. And then times that by negative, of course, is positive. Therefore, altogether, you get e to the pi over 2 power. So in another word, x can be e to the pi over 2. And in fact, that will do it. Yes, it's crazy, huh? If you take e to the pi over 2, raise to itself, raise to itself, and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on, you end up with i. Yeah. Well, uh, you may want to leave a comment down below to see if you think that makes sense or not. Uh, but based on the computation, I think this is OK, especially in the complex world. We never know what will happen, right? I should say, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, that's it.